And qualification went very well for Vanessa Ferrari. She qualified with the highest score of 61.575, and uh, she really seems to be on form, Christine. She really does. This time last year, she was the surprise package, the junior just emerging into the senior ranks. Now she's the real business, Sports. isn't she? She's got a world title under build. her skin, and she's really becoming a big name in gymnastics. She'll certainly be looking to build towards the Olympic Games, where the ultimate goal will be that all-around title. Well, Vanessa will be starting uh, on beam, which she scored 16 on it. I mean, a phenomenal score. I mean, so solid and a very difficult piece to, to kind of master, really, isn't it, the beam? It is, and actually she fell on beam at the World Championship when she won. She's got loads of difficulty. She always goes for, for broke. She always does everything. And uh, when it comes off, that's the result, the big score. I'm just looking at the uh, gymnast warming up on the floor. We've got uh, Oksana Shizofatina, who, uh, well, she knows all about competition, doesn't she, Mitch? How old is she now? 32? 32 years old. I first saw her in 1991 in Indianapolis, where she took the floor, and we saw her again in Barcelona, and since then okay, she's uh, three, four Olympics, is it? Dr. Four Dr. Olympic Dr. Games and nine World Championships. What an incredible competitor she is. And there she is again. Yeah, but we're just looking at 191 there. That was Vanessa Ferrari. Uh, she's the current world all-around champion. And the gymnasts just settling themselves down. They've done very well in qualification, and now it's... It's the big event, really, isn't it? It's, it's all about consistency, it seems, the all-around title. Yes, and of course, in the last couple of years, gymnastics has changed a little bit. People have become specialists. Sometimes we hold competitions where you only compete on your favorite apparatus, and there'll be several gymnasts here who will have competed in the qualifying competition only on the apparatus. They hope to uh, medal on, but these are the all-arounders. These are the, the gold ribbon gymnasts, the gymnasts who can do it all who compete over all four pieces and on the final apparatus as well. Several of these top gymnasts have qualified for the finals, haven't they, Mitch? There was a fear that uh, when this opportunity to specialise came in, that the sport would really struggle. But the reverse has happened, and they still look, even the specialist all-rounder looks at the, sorry, the specialist apparatus worker, looks at the all-rounder and thinks, that's the real gymnast. I think it's a, it's a real achievement. It's the one they all want to win. And Being course, an all-round champion is a wonderful accolade. Of course, Ferrari as well. I mean, you're saying about the, the specialist. There was only one final that really she hasn't qualified for. I mean, that is unbelievable. I mean, she, she just seems to be fantastic on every piece. Well, I and she she has an attitude. Um, I, I saw an interview with her uh, at Aarhus, and she said she's afraid of no one. Anyway, here we go. First competitor on the vault, Christina Pravdina. She's nominated her vault, start value of five. So the maximum she can score for that is 15. Nice little front service on half turn. Congratulations from the coach. And she'll do go straight for her second vault, but let's have a look at the first one. I think this is actually Wagner, who Jordan. Very nice front somersault with half turn. They identified her, I think, incorrectly. There we are. Just a little deduction for not completely straightening out, but very efficient ball to start with. Just one vault in the all-around competition. If they want to qualify for the finals, which they'll have already done in the qualifying competition, they have to compete two, but just one for this competition. Well, on we go to floor, and uh, Verona van der Leur will be competing first from the Netherlands, so she's on home turf as well, getting a great reception from the crowd. Yes, she's really been one of the great gymnasts from the Netherlands over the last few years. She's second in the World Championships back in 2002. She's 21. to the opening double. And that is the nice double front, front, double, front, double twisting front, front some somersault there, but she stepped out of the area. And we know that all in Nederland that cost the tiende van a punt. Verona van der Leur, die weer in a finale staat, a belangrijke weerkamp finale. 
Gain the composure. Tweede serie, dubbel salto gestrekt. Double start again. Staat op de lijn. Ik zie uh, ja, en uh, scheidsrechter buiten uw beeld met de rode vlag omhoog gaan. Dat kostte dus ook een tiende punt. Ze heeft veel ruimte nodig dus voor de acrobatiek. Op zichzelf is dat geen slecht teken. Clean. Very Want dan zit er dus heel veel dynamiek in. Maar het wordt wel gestraft. Je moet nu eenmaal binnen die 12 bij 12 meter blijven. Arbier, flikvlak, een dubbele schroef. Easy round in the twists. Rona van der Leur, ik zei het al, voor het eerst weer terug in een grote, belangrijke finale. 2002 was dat topjaar, Europees, wereld en ook sportvrouw van het jaar werd ze. En toen kwam de grote blessurereeks, de groei en het tweede turn. Two and a half en twist. De derde keer dat ze buiten step de lijn komt. Dat is jammer. And into the finish, well, what a great, uh, great moment for her in front of the home crowd. She's taken a bit of a dip in her career, but I think she's back on form there. Maar toch met foutjes. Aan de brug staat onze tweede Nederlandse finalist, Michelle Wong. Michelle Wong. En brug is ook haar favoriete toestel. Michelle Wong. On home turf as well from the Netherlands. Dus ze moeten vier toestellen doen. En het zit heerlijk vol hier in de rij. Belangrijke oefening, moeilijke oefening ook. Kijk, het endo spreiden. Oh, ze gaat de verkeerde kant op. Uitbalance. Trainer Frank Louter staat er even bij, alleen maar voor de veiligheid. En dat is een belangrijke fout. Oei, dat is een tweede fout, dat is duidelijk. Ze mist daardoor, dat is natuurlijk het ritme wat je verliest. Als je in het begin van je oefening even uit balans bent, dan heb je dat ritme niet te pakken. Well, she proves ja, she can do it because she's actually qualified for the bar yeah, final. She's got a score of 14.725 uh, for that, but triest. really very Jammer unlucky begin. there. I mean, sometimes it just goes free and sometimes Michelle it doesn't, with all the excitement as well. Die met name That's aan right. de brug yeah, op papier juist haar sterkste toestel heeft. It's a whole again, Christine, isn't it? Difficulty Want morgen safety. in de toestelfinale is het doorgedrongen bij de beste acht. Dat deed ze gisteren bij de kwalificatie. Maar nu in deze meerkantfinale gaat het mis. Yes, and here, this is the release. Just didn't drive the feet over the bar enough. But she has to recover, and she's got all the pressure of a home crowd. And goes for that invert. Endo swinging invert. She's done the same elements again to get her difficulty. Some lovely technique there. Yes, it is. Lovely smooth swing, good tight legs, the full pirouette. But quite a lot of empty swings here. Double front somersault. Potentially a very good routine, but still needs to have a few moments ironed out, I think. And very important for the all-around gymnast to put mistakes like that behind them. And just, you know, get on. There's obviously another three pieces to go. On to the podium for the next. Veronica Wagner. Veronica Wagner. Well, 14.075 for her vault. Still a lot of gymnasts to go, but she's currently in second. <laughs> she's one of the more experienced gymnasts of the competition. Van der Leur, 13.575. To be. Favorenko from Russia. Good light start, and they approach this beam with such confidence, such focus. Tiniest of wobbles there. Elegant in the free walkover. The flick layout beautifully done. Somersault firmly planted onto the beam. No problem with the aerial cartwheel. Nor with the corporate flick.
Very nicely done. Drifting. Skipping into the side somersault. Attacks the dismount. Double tuck. Very competent, very clean, confident performance. And from such a young gymnast as well, Mitch, she's just 16 years old. This is kind of her first major European championships. Uh, she qualified in 13th position. But good start. Look at the score there. Oh, and here is Hannah Close from Great Britain. From Liverpool. Same gym as Beth. Same gym as Beth, different coaches coached by Claire Duffy, although um, the senior coach of the club, Amanda Kirby, is on the floor with her today. Of course, Amanda is Beth's coach. She's been a very promising gymnast all the way through the junior ranks. This is her first senior international event. Probably a score she doesn't really want to see. Yeah. You've had a, a fall or two. Yeah, well, the Shell Wong is just hoping that the the judges here are going to be kind to it. There's obviously quite a long wait. Bit of debate. Need to sort out what they're going to credit and what they're not. That's like correct. Yeah. Sorry, Matt. One of our British judges, Robin Leeworthy, there on the telephone. She's one of the senior judges at this competition. It's possibly the fact that she repeated the element again, one, and, and also that, you see, they have to decide whether they credit it or not. The, the ruling is if you momentarily grasp, they give you the move. But if they don't consider that was a momentary grasp, then you don't get credited with the move and it carries probably 0.9 difference. Well, Kramarenko uh, scored 14.85 <coughs> uh, for her first piece of apparatus, the beam. But looking back at that, um, at that close up then, Christine, what would you say? Would you say that that was a catch and release or just kind of a... No, I don't think they would give it. I think they'll say she didn't hold on long enough. Well, there's the answer, 13.175 for Lachelle Wong. And as we go back, and they're close with the opening elements, the full pirouette into the ginger. Oh, well caught, lovely full stretch. Now she, in qualifying, that was the move she missed, the catch it, but she's cleanly through now. Good handstands, hits the shapes well, good lift to the high bar. Now must keep the work going. Forward element, you have to do a forward element like that. Forward giant into a big dismount, double front. Very efficient work from Hannah. Great, she'll be absolutely delighted to get that under her belt and a superb performance for her first one. That's the way to go, Hannah. Anja Brinker from Germany. Just about to take to the beam. Young gymnast is one of a very exciting trio they have in Germany at the moment. And we in Britain know all about that because they're one of the nations we're vying against very desperately for one of those 12 places to qualify for the Olympic Games. And um, she's a very classy young gymnast. Anna Brinker from Germany. She's also qualified for the uneven bars final. 16 years old. She qualified with the fifth highest score. So it could well be a contender for a medal here. And that's an important start, isn't it? The layout somersault. Good layout series, just a little bit of hesitation. You can see just a slight nervous edge. Oh, not quite the technique needed. She lifted the hip. A few more hours on the ballet bar to put that right. <laughs> She's 
got the difficulty, but it just looks a little bit hard work. Do you see, just the little pause between the two elements means she's not quite building the mark the way she could, but that was much better. Front somersault, oh, she's fighting her way through. The little wobbles cost quite a lot. Packing the difficulty in, but every move has got a little 0.3 wobble attached to it. And the move itself is only worth 0.3, so you can quickly whittle away your marks. Now, needs a big, strong, committed dismount. Oh, dear. Well, it was just a right foot, I think. Didn't quite make contact or just slipped. Well, and um, she com was committed. You said you needed a committed dismount. She was certainly committed. She didn't stop. Yeah. Oh. Right foot off the beam. Yeah. Mm. I think she'd actually started a twist early, hadn't she? Yeah, I think that was exactly the That's exactly it. If you don't concentrate, place the feet on. Well, Hannah Close scored 13.825 on bars. She's currently in fourth position. She's going to stay with the bars. And this is Daria Zgoba from Ukraine. Well clear. The lower bar, good transfer. Steep in and out twice. The second with a turn into endo in inverted grass. This is good work. Full turn on top of the bar. Good Jaeger. So this is a great start, technically. Very strong, just a little bit loose legged there. Two on and off. Repeated it to invert. A double front finish and a step forward. Technically good, but just a few stand points there. Well, Daria actually qualified for the bar's uh, individual apparatus final. She scored 15.25 uh, in qualification, so she'll be looking for quite a big score. Let's take another look. Yes, she's got this great shoulder line. That was a very good dismount. She's building her difficulty with lots of turns. I expect her start value is high. So she can get away with just the few tenths deductions. It looked a bit laboured some places, didn't it, Mitch? Yeah, just a bit loose-legged and uh, there's some stuff in that routine. She's grown a fair bit since we saw her last in international competition and uh, it just doesn't quite have the ease of swing that it did when she was a little bit smaller, but uh, she, she'll, I'm sure she'll be back strong. In fact, that was very strong. And the difficulty point that you raised there, Christine, I mean, this seems to be a lot uh, sort of tactics-wise playing in, in gymnast routines. The, the, some of them go all out and think, well, you know, I can afford to make a few mistakes and, and still get a high score. Yes, there she turns. Oh, that's the dismount again. Just a little, there'll be deduction on the step and knees apart. Yes, you're right. It's, you know, you want to try and get your deductions as low as possible. Daria seems pleased with that. I think it's always a great feeling when you've got that first piece under your belt successfully. And your brinker. 625. Patching over. It's just entered onto the beam. Good rhythm to start the routine. Now she needs some good difficulty as well. Now a nice front somersault, but landed very low, and the ju judges are particularly harsh with the deductions for landing low. <laughs> That's a very nice high jump. For full marks, she needed to have got right round. You saw the feet were across the beam. Wouldn't quite be credited, but that is a sensational spin. One and a half spin straight into the free cartwheel. That really was some lovely work.
gaining confidence as she's working, you can see. Solid tack back. Oh, and what a shame after all that good work. That's exactly as you were speaking about, Matt. Went for yet another difficulty, one too many. And the deduction will certainly be bigger than the gain by adding the element. Successful double twist, though. Some beautiful work in the middle. Such a pity. I actually think that gymnast came in as a reserve. Did she? Yes, it, it's good work. Goba scores 15 points. Delighted with that. It's a great score. And now, because obviously gymnasts can't score 10, what with the new scoring system, a score around the top 15s is, is pretty good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. If and you think we only saw one 16 in qualifying. Yelena Patricia Moreno is next on the fall. 19 years old. She's done well. She qualified in 100th place last year. So great to see her here in this final. Whips. Into flex and a lovely full twisting double pike. Lovely start. Very powerful in a tumbling and light of touch, too. Just a little bit unsteady there. And it's a feature of floor exercise they must get the package right they can't be excellent tumblers and falter on the gymnastic links and elements so vital look at the acceleration through the flick a little more composure there Tumble. Ooh, double pike with a little bit of a rebound. Such a shame, but she qualified in ninth place. But, you know, I think at this early stage, she's still got three pieces to go. It's not the end of the world for her. There were some good moves in there, Mitch. Nice light tumbling, Christine, wasn't it? Yes, but this is a, you know, that is a definite fall. 0.8 deduction plus the other deductions that come for the tumble not being high enough. She'll do very well to recover from that. Petjakova, 13.1 on beam. Of course, she had that slip. Cassie Veresel from France onto the beam. Secure front somersault. And along, you can see how efficient she is with her foot placement. Both feet on, one in front of the other. Lovely high layout somersault. Good effort to hold the leg up. Just didn't keep the body right over the beam. Some sorts very during the air. Recovering well. Has to find her rhythm. And finding a rhythm is key, especially in the all-around competition. And is this a difficult piece, Christine, to be starting on? 
Yes, it's difficult to start on, but it's great if you start on it and do well. <laughs> yeah. It's even worse to finish on, I might say. <laughs> Lovely dismount, two and a half twist. That's a D dismount. That's what the gymnasts need for a really high start value. And such a shame there in the middle. I mean, she was desperately hanging on. I mean, if she did manage to stay on and not fall off, what would have been the point difference there? Oh, well, you lose 0.8 for falling. OK, and, and for a pretty drastic wobble uh, well 0.5 for a drastic wobble but you see you also lose for the actual element not being performed well they'll have had a deduction for the side summy not having enough height so it probably will have lost her about a mark 13.4 is Moreno's score on floor Next on well, Elena Kozic from Ukraine is next to go on floor. Kozic also qualified for the beam and the floor final. She scored 14.725, so she'll be looking for a good score here, Christine. Yeah, she's a real classy gymnast. Lots of confidence in that double front somersault. Meet the floor blind. Lovely double twist as well. Just slightly off balance at the end of the pirouette. Disguised it very well. Combination tumble, one and a half into full twist. Packing lots of tumbling in here, double twist down the side. Now with this judging system where you can build as much difficulty as possible. I attempted to do four or five tumbles, but this needs to be a big final one. Well, it was bound to be a twist. It was a two and a half she went for. Well, a great, great performance. And so graceful in her tumbling. I mean, she seems so powerful, but so beautiful at the same time. Yeah. And controlled. That's, yep. that's the word. Controlled. Lovely levers there used very effectively. Quite tall. Excellent conversion upwards. What a way to finish. When we first saw her, she was a young gymnast. A little girl, she won the European title, and then we've seen her visibly get older, mature, and that was a lovely performance. Steliana Nisto is the next to go on the vault. Steliana qualified with the second highest all around score. Plenty of aggression in the approach. One and a half twists, easily done. Working within herself. Well, Mitch, she also qualified in the beam and the bars final. Uh, so Volt, not one of her strong points, but that was pretty impressive. Question of whether she needed to stay straight all the way, Christine. She did tuck in very early there. She did. If she's nominated it with straight legs, there'll be quite a deduction, weren't there? Even to the non-expert could see those bent knees, I think. Let's have a closer look at this vault from Nista. Their legs significantly bent. Not too many deductions other than that. Good for height, flight, good height, good direction. But the judges judge what they see. Even if you nominate a one and a half twist with straight and then they think it's tucked, they'll only score you as a tucked one. And just as far as opting for difficulty is concerned, well, let's have a look at Vera Sell's score. 13 dead she got for that. Uh, she's currently in 17th position after her beam routine. Just waiting for Steliana Nistor's score for her first vault. Um, and difficulty's the key here, isn't it? I mean, she's obviously got two vaults. 
Nisto is currently in third position with 14.375. That's after her first vault. Another vault to come, and they'll take an average. Okay, now. Alina Kozic, 14.7 for her full routine. Wasn't there? Well, Vanessa Ferrari, the current world all around champion, takes to the beam. And as far as qualification is concerned, this is her best piece of apparatus, scoring 16. <laughs> what a rock solid <laughs> mount. Full pirouette, held every quarter, and then a planche. Can I just comment on that planche? That's the flattest I've seen. Yes. That's really beautifully done. Oh, the full twist. What confidence. She really was well out of line, but she jammed her feet on and bat. Not quite such classy technique on the spin. Very nice change leg into tap back. over judges have to decide whether she absolutely touched her head on that jump well okay. Ferrari did fall in the all around on this piece in Denmark but talk about confidence she is hitting this 100% she's a lot more experienced than she was six months ago and she looks it doesn't she but you have to keep concentrating. You have to plant your feet on, make the dismount, and she does. What a star. <laughs> well, unbelievable difficulty, unbelievable confidence, and what a landing. I mean, that kind of just sums up the whole performance, doesn't it? I'm sticking this. Interesting. She's got such an attitude. Look at this. Go on, judges. Take it off if you dare. She's really not a virtuoso on the beam. You know, it's the piece she will have had to work the hardest on. She's not got great flexibility, which gives you that lovely line on beam. And she's really worked hard to build the difficulty and become solid on her performance. Well, Ferrari has qualified for three individual finals. Beam's one of them, the floor, and also the bars. She looks very happy with how she's just started the competition. As we go to Sandra Isbasa from Romania, another contender for a medal. Okay, circle, stoop on and off to start. And traditionally, they're not sparkling on this apparatus, the Romanians, are they, Christine? No, it's where they've struggled. And although that Jaeger was good, it was low. That's the sort of thing. Good transfer there. Just shade short of handstand need to hit that every opportunity nice and clean there double tuck finish made a good job of the dismount but just you just get the feeling she's not absolutely in control that particularly was very flat wasn't it it was under the bar height she has to use a bit of strength to carry on but she does carry on that's the great thing about the romanian gymnasts they never give up they might not have the best technique, but they certainly are the most consistent. Which makes them a great all-around gymnast. That's right. Well, as Bassa scored 14.325. She's currently in fifth. That was for her bars routine. Vanessa Ferrari, 15.375 on beam. She's currently in second. I think she'll be a little disappointed with that, having scored 16 in qualification. So it's not in the bag yet, Vanessa. Well, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Daria Skoba from Ukraine is currently leading. Vanessa Ferrari, the current world champion, is down in silver medal position at the moment. Kramarenko. It's currently in bronze with Hannah Claus down in 13th position after the first rotation.
Michel Wong from the Netherlands in 20th place. But it's very early days at the moment. 